cognitive dissonance <clears throat> is a technical term in psychology which means um, to put it simply there is confusion arising out of a situation you do not know whether this is right or that is right there are more than one uh, right or wrong you know when you are confused like this you have to eliminate uh, the wrong and then settle on the the right <clears throat> answer or right perception and uh, the part of the brain that is involved in doing that activity within the humans is the anterior cingulate and the neurons are the von Ikanova neuron. As I have mentioned in the earlier videos, the elephants have the uh, von Ikanova neurons as well. So Ganesha's special power in uh, trying to uh, decide the right and wrong comes from uh, his having the elephant head and elephant head carries this uh, one economon and you're gone. And these neurons are very, very uh, powerful and they are found only in certain evolved uh, animals like, uh, like the monkeys have that, uh, the dolphins have and the whales also have these, uh, only the mammals have these neurons. And Ganesha uh, uh, brain, uh, the elephant's brain, has tremendous amount of uh, uh, these particular neurons that gives him the ability to do that. So meditation on Ganesha will give you uh, uh, the ability to solve the problems because whatever you focus on you will become that yad bhavam tad bhavati which means you become as you think so if you meditate on ganesha over and over and over again then that's how, then you acquire his power so if you want to get some power of somebody then you meditate on that person you fill your mind with that person, whoever that is. Then that, that is how you acquire power of that uh, person or object you meditate on. And also I said that uh, the elephant brain has a bigger uh, hippocampus uh, associated with memory than the humans. So the elephant memory is uh, proverbial and then Ganesha's memory is also the same. So the people who created the mythology uh, are not dumb. They are the most powerful beings and they were able to see uh, the power of animals so animal-headed uh, beings are not uh, to be ridiculed about, but then we have to really know the meaning of it. Thanks to science that we are able to see Ganesha totally in, in a very intelligent uh, uh, light. So from now on, at least uh, children who are growing up should try to understand Ganesha in the light of science. That will do a lot of help. God bless.